One of the things that I uh, cherish about McGuire Woods is that the commitment to diversity is what brought me to the firm 14 years ago. Uh, and I recount often a story about walking into a conference room of a meeting of African American partners, and there were so many of them in the room that we filled the complete table, and I had never had that experience in my career. And at the time I joined the firm, I'd been practicing law nearly 20 years. And so to walk in and sit down and have that kind of an experience was really extraordinary. And we see it play out now, still, when you look at our leadership ranks, when you look at our department chairs, when you look at our industry team leaders, and you know, remarkably, something I never thought I'd see in my career, the chairman of our firm is an African-American man. So the commitment to diversity has been here from the onset. It continues, the pace has picked up, I like to say. Uh, now that uh, we've we are driving diversity both at the uh, internal, through our Diversity Action Council, and externally through our Diversity and Inclusion Committee, of which I'm now chair. So uh, the pace is picking up, which I love uh, and I'm very enthusiastic about. Uh, but it is good to do it in a firm where you don't have to explain to people why it's important, for the most part. Diversity and inclusion is no longer just about window dressing, you know, putting people in the room just to say they're in the room. Um, as I often say when I talk about cognitive diversity and demographic diversity, is we've got to have diverse thinkers in the room. And so to do that, you've got to make sure that the people you're bringing in, whether it's at the beginning of their careers, when they're coming out of law school to do internships with us, or from the lateral market to be associates or coming in as partners, we want their brain power. We want them to be at the table. We want them to think through problems and help the group solve problems together. We can't do that if we're just filling spaces and not actually filling people with the work that we need to get done. So part of the retention strategies of today is making sure that when we bring uh, diverse lawyers in, that we are giving them meaningful work that will help with retention, will help promote them and help develop them as lawyers. Um, and then if we do that right, we'll get the product, the results that we want for our, for our clients. So it's, it's no longer about, you know, just sheer numbers. It's also about the power that a diverse team brings to bear on our problems or on problems that we have to solve for clients.